Hey you guys, my name is Brittany Bryden. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna guide you through a 40 minute practice that will lead you up into a couple of peak postures. So you'll see Malasana squats, um, half moon, as well as a variation of Birds of Paradise. So I want you to please keep in mind and modify as you need, listen to your body, pay attention to any kind of injuries you're working with. Um, I will also be posting a playlist that you can have on the background for this practice. The link will be in the description box, so just click on that, push play, and uh, let's get going. So please find your way into a comfortable seated position. Feel yourself settle down in the quiet. Keeping the eyes closed, begin to find your breath moving in and out of the nose. And when you take that inhale, I want you to envision like a 360 degree breath. You're filling up to the front, the side, the back body. And exhaling out through the nose. And that contraction into the midline. So you're going to keep going with your breath. Keep with this breath throughout the rest of our physical practice. And during your practice, if there is any time where you need to just come back to center, come back to the present, then just find this position that you're in here, close the eyes, and just focus on the breath. Softly open the eyes and reach both arms up towards the ceiling. You're going to cactus the arms. You're going to bend the elbows, palm of the hands face forwards and fingers face up. Notice if you're pushing the ribs forwards. So keep the ribs tracking right over top of the pelvis, but then feel like you're pulling your shoulder blades a little closer towards one another. And then counter this by bringing the forearms, the pinky fingers to touch and feel a little protraction through your shoulder blades, meaning your shoulder blades are spreading apart. And then go back to where you started. So open up, find a little retraction, and then protract, pull the forearms in. So just moving through a couple more on your own. You're just following your rhythm with your breath. One more time. And then open up and reach both arms up towards the ceiling. You're going to take your right hand and reach for your left wrist. Take that left arm up. You're going to let that shoulder lift and then lean over to the right side. And bring yourself to center. Switch so your left hand's going to reach for your right wrist. Pull that right arm up. Lean over to the left side. And come back to center. Shake your arms out. Bring your hands into a tight fist and bring the back of the fist together so the knuckles face down. So feel a little pressure there. Draw the knuckles in towards your chest. Take the knuckles up and then forwards and down. In, up, forwards and down. A few more cycles like that. And then go the opposite way. shake it out. Come onto your hands and knees in a table. Take the chest forwards and send the tailbone up. Flex the spine so round and push away from the floor. Again you'll take the chest forwards, tailbone up, get some extension through your spine and then flexion as you push away. So you're going to continue with the cat cow but this is yours and whatever you need the movement to be. So you can add in something different Beginning that process of shifting out of your head and into your body and into your breath and how you're feeling in the moment.
One more round. And then find your way into a neutral spine. Support the spine by engaging through the core. Walk your left knee in towards the midline and take your right leg straight back. You're gonna tuck your toes under so the foot is on the ground, but drive all your weight back into your heel. Take a moment to stretch out your calf. Shoulders come back over top of the wrists and lift your right leg up. So I want you to take a moment and notice if you're completely spilling through the spine. If you are opening up the hips towards the right, make sure that right toes are facing the floor. You're supporting the spine by lifting up through the core and the belly. Crown of the head is reaching towards the front of the mat. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna tap the foot down and then lift the leg up without swinging. Tap your foot down and then lift up. So a couple more on your own. Last one. Next time you lift the leg, pause there. Bring your right heel and squeeze in towards your right glute. Open your knee out towards the right side and then draw the right knee as far forward as you can like you're trying to touch the upper right arm. So as you get the knee to the upper right arm, notice if you're driving that left shoulder forwards. So keep the shoulders exactly where they were when they started. And then take that right leg straight back, starting from the beginning. Right heel in towards the glute. Take your knee out towards the right side. Bring it forwards, try to touch the upper right arm. And then take your right leg straight back, toes face the ground again. One more time, right heel to glute, knee to the right, drop forwards, touch the upper right arm. And then send the right leg straight back, set your right toes to the floor for a moment. Turn your left toes to face the left side now. So it's creating a kickstand. Drop your right heel to the center of the mat and reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Get a little lighter on your left hand, so come onto your left fingertips. And then lift the right leg up so the heel comes in line with the hip-ish. Tap your foot down, and then lift the leg back up. So a couple more controlled. Last one, lift it up, pause there. Feel like you're pushing your right foot into an imaginary wall that's behind you. Set your right foot down onto the ground. Lift yourself off the left hand. Your right hand's just gonna gently rest on the right thigh. Your left arm's gonna reach up and over. So the bicep is just hovering above the ear. Windmill your hands down onto the ground and reset in table. Now bring your right knee in towards center and you're gonna take your left leg straight back. Toes are tucked under and on the floor. Drive your weight into that left heel. Shoulders come back over top of the wrists and lift your left leg up. Support the spine, lift up to the core. Tap your left toes down and then pick the leg back up. Couple more. Now lift the leg up, pause there. Squeeze your left heel in towards the glute. Take the knee to the left side, bring the knee forwards, try to touch the upper left arm, and then reset, send that left leg straight back, toes face the ground. Again, bring your heel to glute, knee to the left, bring it forward, try to touch the upper left arm, and then send your left leg straight back. One more time, heel to glute, knee to the left, come forwards, touch the upper left arm, pause there, and then send your left leg straight back, Set your toes to the floor. Spin your toes, your right toes to face the right side of the mat. Drop your left heel to the center of the mat and reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Come onto your right fingertips, so you're lighter on that right hand. And start to lift that left leg up. So make sure that leg isn't in front or behind you. Tap the foot down and then put the leg back up. A couple more. Keep with that breath moving in and out of the nose. The actual pace and the length of it is yours. Next time you lift it up, stay there. Gently set that foot down, come off the right hand, so lift yourself all the way up. Left hand's gonna gently rest on that left leg, your right arm's gonna reach up and over. 
Windmill your hands down onto the ground. Turn to face the front of the mat and make your way into your first down dog. So you're gonna tuck your toes under, pick the hips up and back. Take a moment to pedal at the legs. Bending one knee, straighten the other, shifting side to side. So think nice long spine. Now bring your left foot in towards the midline and take your right leg up towards the ceiling. So just like you did on the knee, so the right toes are facing the ground. Tap your foot to the floor and then lift the leg back up using your glute. Tap the foot down and then pick it back up. Couple more. Next time you lift the leg, keep the foot facing the floor. Lift up high in the ball of the left foot, bend your knee and try to get your chest towards the left thigh. Roll it forwards, bring your right knee to your nose and then step your foot down beside your right thumb. Feet are on separate tracks. Left knee comes to the floor and reach both arms up towards the ceiling. Envision like you're sending the tailbone down and then cactus the arms like you did at the beginning. Bend the elbows, fingers face up. Broaden a little bit more through the collarbones and then pull the forearms and the pinky fingers to touch. Open the arms back up. Interlace the hands behind the back. Press in the palm of the hands together, roll the shoulders back and start to move your hands away from the glutes as you lift the sternum up to the ceiling. You're gonna fold to the inside of your right thigh. So you're gonna hug your right thigh into the side ribs, let the head hang and knuckles go to the ceiling, maybe even towards the front of the mat. So this does require a little bit of recruitment through your inner thighs to find some balance. Lift your chest back up and keep your hands interlaced for a moment. You're gonna take your knuckles over to your left hip. Now before you go further, make sure you're not pushing the ribs forward. So draw the ribs in, leave that right arm where it is and take your left arm up to the ceiling. So reach up first and then you're gonna lean over to the right side and you can look underneath that left arm. Left elbow is gonna come down the outside of that right leg. So press the leg in the arm, arm hugs back, start to draw the right shoulder back as you rotate the chest towards the right. Both hands come down and frame your right foot. Tuck your left toes under, pick up your back knee. Drop your left heel to the center of the mat. Feel like you're pulling your heels in towards one another and come right into warrior two. So try not to shift up and then into it, just come right into your warrior two. Actively pressing that right knee open. Reverse your warrior, reach your right arm up and over. And then come back into warrior two. Your right elbow is gonna to come to the inside of the right thigh and you're gonna bring both hands together in prayer. So press the arm on the leg, leg is pushing back. Draw the left shoulder back and lift the chest up to the ceiling. Keep pulling the heels in towards one another so there is lots of activation there. Look down to the floor, bring both hands to the inside of your right foot. Walk your right foot out a little bit wider, turn on the ball of your left foot. Now step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Turn your toes out slightly, bend your knees and start to lower your hips down to an angle that works for you. If your heels start to come up, that's totally okay. Just try to make sure your knees are in line with the second toe. And instead of coming in your full range, I want you to pick your hips up about an inch, maybe in two. Use the outer line of those glute muscles to actively press the knees open. Broaden through the chest, but reach both arms up towards the ceiling, palm of the hands face forwards. You're gonna power all the way up to stand and bring your hands together in prayer when you come up. And then lower back down into that squat, reach both arms up. So we'll do that again, power up to stand, hands together in prayer and then lower down into that squat, both arms reach up. One more time, power up, hands together. Lower down, arms reach up. Then set the hands down onto the ground, lift the hips up. Bring your feet parallel, bend the knees, and think of a rag doll here. So let the head hang. Any variation you want with the arms, you can reach for either elbow. You're gonna set both hands down onto the ground. Bend your knees. 
transfer weight over to your left foot and as you do that kick your right heel in towards your right glute so keep squeezing that heel to the glute left knee is still bent now i want you to open or rotate your hips towards the right side your heel is still squeezing in towards the glute your right hand is going to come to your right hip so as you start to open up a little bit more to the right then start to send your right leg straight back like you did when we were on our knees Push that right foot into the back wall, that imaginary back wall. You can either keep your hand on the hip, you can reach that right arm up towards the ceiling. And then take a big step back and land in warrior two. Reverse your warrior left arm up and over. Windmill your hands down onto the ground, turn on the ball of your back foot and step back into plank. Engaging through the entire body on this one. And then with control, you're going to bend the elbows, whether your knees are up or down, and come all the way down onto the floor. Untuck the toes, come into cactus with the arms. So bend the elbows, palm of the hands down, and start with everything on the floor. Actively press the tops of feet down, engage the inner thighs and the glutes. Now lift the upper body up, so lift the head, lift the arms, lift the chest, and then lower back down. We'll do two more like that. Lift the upper body up and then lower down. One more time, pick it up and then lower down. Hands come beside your lower rib cage, tuck the toes under, press through table and then downward dog. Take a moment in down dog before we go further. Acknowledging your body, how does that feel? There's your breath. Right foot's coming in towards center as your left leg goes up without opening the hip. So your left toes are facing the ground. Tap your left foot down and then pick it back up. Couple more on your own. Next time you lift the leg, stay there. So the left leg stays as is. You can bend that bottom knee as much as you need here. Pull forwards, bring that left knee to your nose. Step your foot down beside the left thumb. Back knee comes to the floor. Low lunge, bring your arms forwards and up. Draw your ribs in, send the tailbone down. Cactus with the arms. And then pull the forearms and the pinky fingers to touch. Open back up. Interlacing the hands behind the back. Weird grip. So palms together, just take the opposite thumb on top. Roll the shoulders back, move the hands away from the glutes, lift the chest up and then folding to the inside of your left thigh. Draw the left thigh in, head relaxes, knuckles to the ceiling or to the front. Bring yourself back up to stand, or back up, sorry, and then take your knuckles over to your right hip. So draw the ribs in, leave the left arm, but reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Reach up, then you're gonna lean over to the left side and looking underneath that right arm. Right elbow comes down the outside of your left thigh. Pull that left shoulder back. Open the chest towards the left. Both hands come down and frame your left foot. Picking up your back knee and then drop your back heel to the center of the mat. So find your legs and then from there, keep the legs but come right up into your warrior two. Reverse your warrior, left arm reaches up and over. Back into warrior two. Left elbow comes down to the inside of that left thigh. Bring your hands together in prayer. Press the palm of the hands together as you draw that right shoulder back. Draw the ribs in, pull the heels in towards one another. Looking down, both hands come to the inside of your left foot. Walk your left foot out a little bit wider. Turn on the ball of your right foot, push off your back foot and step your foot to the outside of your right hand. Turn your toes out slightly, bend the knees, lower the hips down and bring your hands together in prayer. So find that first, lift your hips up a little bit, actively press the knees open, reach both arms up, palm of the hands face forwards. Power all the way up to stand, hands come together in prayer. And then lower down and reach your arms up. Two more like that. Come up to stand, hands in prayer. 
Lower down, arms reach up. And then one more, come up to stand, hands together. Lower down, arms reach up. Set the hands to the floor, lift the hips up, become parallel, ragdoll again. So have that bend in the knees, head relaxes, any arms you want. Let it feel good. Hands come down onto the floor. Bend both knees. Begin to transfer your weight over to your right foot. Kick your left heel in towards your left glute. Keep squeezing that heel in. Start to lift the left thigh up. Then you're gonna open up the hip towards the left. Take your left hand to your left hip. And then start to send your left leg back like you're pushing your foot into that imaginary wall. Option to reach that left arm up to the ceiling. Take a big step back, landing in warrior two. Reverse your warrior, right arm up and over. Windmill your hands down onto the ground. Turn on the ball of your left foot, stepping back into plank. Nice and slow, lower all the way down to the floor. Untuck the toes, cactus with the arms. Press the tops of the feet into the floor. Engage in the inner thighs, the glutes. Lift the upper body up, arms, head, chest, and then lower back down. Two more, lift it up, and then lower down. One more, pick it up, and then lower down. Hands beside your lower rib cage, tuck the toes under. Table or full plank, downward dog. Heels pick up, bending your knees, stepping forwards, coming to the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift to lengthen, fold forwards into your leg. Coming to stand, both arms reach up. Hands come together, heart prayer. Arms sweep up, hinging from the hips and fold forwards into your leg. Halfway lift to lengthen. Hands come down onto the floor, stepping back into plank. Now your choice, chaturanga, baby cobra, or up dog. Lifting the hips up and back, landing in down dog. Take a few breaths here. And then picking the heels up, bending the knees, hop or step, coming to the top of the mat. Halfway lift. Fold into your leg. Coming to stand, arms reach up. Reset, hands together in prayer. We'll do that again, arms reach up. Fold forwards into the legs. Halfway lift, lengthen. Set the hands down, stepping back in a plank. It's your flow, so you can totally take this out or you're moving through chaturanga. Your back bend a choice and then meeting in downward dog. If your arms are gonna break, you can also come down onto your knees in child's pose. We're not here long. Pick the heels up, bend the knees and make your way to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, folding down. Coming to stand, arms sweep up. Hands come together, heart prayer. Last round, arms up. Fold forwards. Lengthen the spine. Set the hands down, your choice, downward dog or vinyasa. Looking to the hands, bend the knees, make your way to the top of the mat. But you're gonna bend your knees and come all the way down onto your bums and come down onto your backs and bring both knees into your chest. So you're gonna rock a little side to side. Okay. So you're gonna keep your big toes to touch. Open your knees up to the side, and then keep 
bringing your heels in towards your glutes. So don't forget that action. Keep your heels in towards your glutes. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling and turn the palm of the hands to face up like your hands are on the ceiling. You're looking in between your thumbs. Now lift the head and lift the chest up towards the ceiling like you're pushing up into the ceiling. So you'll feel both shoulder blades come off the floor. Now curl up with the pelvis and get your knees high up on the arms. So your arms are going to push into the knees, the knees are going to push back, keeping your heels tight in towards the glutes, fire up that anterior core, keep pushing up with the hands, you're here for another three, for two, maybe lift up another inch for one, and then come down, hug both knees in. Set both feet down on the ground, hands frame the hips. Root the feet in the floor, but feel like you're pulling your heels to your glutes. Now use the glutes as you lift the hips up and come into hip extension. Walk the shoulder blades underneath you, and if available, interlace the hands. Go round the arms to the floor. Release the hands nice and slow. You'll roll down the back. And I just want you to take a moment here on your back. So walk your feet, mat distance apart, knees come together. Reach the arms up and over the head, bend the elbows and just reach for either elbow. So let the arms relax into the floor, close the eyes. Just ground yourself in what has your practice brought up for you so far. What dialogue are you getting involved with? And can you return back to the present right here? Not what's happened in the past. Not what you think the future looks like. Can you come to right here? Bring both knees in towards your chest. Hands below the knees. Take a moment, rock a little side to side. And then lift your chest towards your thighs, flex of the spine, keep that flexion and start to rock up and down through the spine. Use a little momentum until you can come all the way up, cross the legs, ground the hands and step back into downward dog. Hmm. All right, bring your left foot to center. Take your right leg straight up, toes face the ground. So just once, tap your foot down, pick the leg back up. Bend the standing leg, get your chest towards the thigh, and then roll it forwards, bring your knee into your nose. Step your foot down beside the right thumb, back knee comes to the floor, low lunge, both arms reach up. Moving a little quicker here, so cactus the arms, bend the elbows, and then pull the forearms and the pinky fingers to touch. Open back up into cactus, interlacing the hands behind the back, palms pressed together. Roll the shoulders back, move the hands away from the glutes, chest lift. Fold to the inside of your right thigh. So hug that thigh in, knuckles up to the ceiling or forwards. Lift your chest back up. As you lift the chest up, take your knuckles over to your left hip. Leave that right arm, left arm reaches up to the ceiling. Lift up first, then you're leaning to the right and look underneath the left arm. Left elbow comes down the outside of that right thigh, draw the right shoulder back, open the chest. Now you have a few options here. You can stay exactly as you are. You can put power into your back leg, pick the knee up. You can change the arms, or if it's safe for you and available, you can come into a full bind with the arms. But don't force yourself into something that your body is not ready for or feels good in. Bring your hands down onto the ground so your hands are framing your right foot. Drop your left heel to the center and come right up into your warrior two. Reverse your warrior, right arm up and over. And warrior two. Right elbow down to the inside of your right thigh. Your hands come together in prayer. So press the palm of the hands together. Pull the heels in towards one another. Now, 
keeping that right elbow where it is. I want you to look forwards and turn onto the ball of your left foot. Push off your back foot and now step to the top of the mat. Keep that contact with the elbow to the inner thigh. Come all the way up to stand. So your leg is coming with it. Roll your right glute under, come right up to stand, yeah. Now leave the right leg and reach both arms up towards the ceiling. So this should look like your Malasana squat. Palm the hands forwards. See if that right knee can come up a little higher. Take your time and you're turn this in a half moon. So you're gonna rotate the hips towards the right. Try not to use your hands as you send that right leg back. So that might mean you don't go nearly as low to the floor. And then take a big step back and come into warrior two. Grounding through both feet. Reverse, reach your left arm up and over. Windmill your hands down onto the ground, hands frame your left foot, turn on the ball of your back foot, and step back into plank. So you can either turn this into down dog or you can move through your vinyasa. And we'll meet in down dog. The last side, so you're gonna bring your right foot to center, take your left leg straight up towards the ceiling. Just once, tap your foot down, and then pick the leg back up. Bend your standing leg, chest towards the thigh. Roll forwards, bring your knee into your nose. Stepping down beside your left thumb, back knee comes to the floor. Both arms sweep forwards and up. Cactus the arms, open up through the chest, and then pull the finger, forearms and the pinky finger to touch. Open up with the arms. Interlace the hands behind the, hat, behind the back, weird grip. Roll the shoulders back, move the hands away from the glutes. Fold to the inside of your left back. Hug the thigh in. Lift the chest back up. Take your knuckles over to your right hip, so leave that left arm where it is. Right arm reaches up. Lean over to the left side, look underneath the right arm. Right elbow comes to the outside of your left thigh. Draw the left shoulder back. So again, you can stay here, pick up the knees, change the arms, it's all you. One more breath. Hands come down onto the ground. Ground your back heel and come all the way up in a warrior two. Reverse, left arm up and over. Try not to put a lot of weight in that back leg with that right arm. Warrior two, left elbow to the inside of the left thigh, bring both hands together in prayer, draw the right shoulder back. So you're gonna keep that contact with the left elbow and the left inner thigh. Turn on the ball of your right foot, look towards the front of your mat. Push off your back foot, step your right foot to the top of the mat. You're gonna come all the way up to stand, bringing your left leg with it. Roll that left glute under. Reach both arms up towards the ceiling, palm the hands face forward, find your grounding there. Keep lifting that left knee up. Now taking your time, turn this into your half moon, so start to send your left leg back. You can hover that right arm above the floor. Engage to the obliques to support the shape. And then take a step back, land in warrior two. <laughs> Reverse, right arm up and over. Windmill your hands to the floor, turn on the ball of your back foot, stepping back into either your choice, down dog, or vinyasa. Come down onto your knees. Well done. <laughs> turn your fingers face the sides of the mat and then turn your fingers all the way around so fingers face your knees. And with your hands as they are, just move through cat cow again, close your eyes. Just following your breath. One more round. And come into a neutral spine. So nice and slow, you'll come off the hands, give your arms a good shake. Come onto your bums and just take both legs out in front of you. Shake it out. You're gonna come into a diamond now. So you're gonna bring the soles of the feet together, knees are open. And I'm gonna give a few options. 
So we did a lot of work on the outer line of the glute today, so we'll take a moment to stretch that out. You're gonna cross your right ankle over top of the left ankle. So if your knees are up towards your ears right now, then elevate your pelvis a bit. So you slide a pillow or a block or something underneath the glutes to pick up the hips. This is option number one. Option number two is to cross more at the shin calf. So it's kind of like you're creating a box shape with the legs. So your shins are parallel-ish to the front of the mat. And then if you feel really open there and you prefer to be more in a double pigeon, you can stack your shins. I prefer to just cross the shins. This feels better for me and my hips. So I'm gonna stay right here. I'm just gonna walk my hands forwards. Let the head relax. Wherever you end up, just close the eyes. Witnessing whatever sensations are arising for you. Be aware of whatever narrative you're getting caught up in. Just feeling about five more breaths here on the side. Lift your chest up. So you're just going to take your hands behind you, bend your knees, set the feet down on the ground, and let your knees rock from one side and then over to the other. And then we'll set up for the second side. So you're either crossing your left ankle over top of the right ankle, the shins, calves, or that double pigeon. Support yourself with any kind of props that you need. And then when you're ready, just walk your hands forwards as you feel it. Five more breaths. Walk your hands up as you lift the chest. As the hands come behind you, ground the feet again. Let the knees rock side to side. Come down onto your backs. Soles of the feet to the ceiling. Hands grab hold of the outer edges of the feet. And play around with your happy baby, whatever feels good here. So maybe it's changing the legs. Go of the feet, wrap the arms around the shins, make yourself nice and small, lift your chest towards the thighs, and then let it go, setting up for your closing posture, legs out in front of you. You can either relax the arms down on the ground, you can rest your hands somewhere on the body. Just scan the body, pinpointing different areas. Noticing if there's spots that still have some resistance. 
as we bring awareness to those places and then tell yourself to soften them to let go entire body get heavier in the midsole. time I highly encourage you to stay here a little longer but thank you so much for practicing with me today be humble and be kind namaste